Okay, alright, so I got an email from, I'm going to want to say, Reblish. I don't want to say the name wrong, so, anyway, <clears throat> asking a lot of questions about the match pistols, so I figured it would be a lot easier for me to just make a video about it instead of typing all this stuff. If I was going to say all that stuff in the email, I would have already quit. I figured I was going to make a video. Anyways, okay. Now, I've grabbed two of my match pistols. Probably remember these from one of my other videos. So, we'll start with this one. Okay, now, obviously you can see how I, you know, cut the, the stock, I guess, out. And, um, I varnished it and stained it. You know, pretty simple, no problem. And now, what I've done here is this is a, a conduit pipe for uh, electrical wires. You get it. Uh, now, here is lie the the problem, potential problem. Um, this is just pinched with a vise, and then pounded over and pinched ag again with a vise. Uh, under all that explosive pressure, probably not the best thing to be doing. But I've never fired this one, but I have fired ones like this. So, in this type of situation, what I would probably use in this gun would be the match heads. And I have portioned these off correctly, even though this would probably be a lot for this little gun. But anyhow, I'm going to... This is just about a half inch diameter and it's filled with the match heads. Now the match heads are just to go to the store and buy yourself matches just like this. This is no problem. I got these at Walmart. Let me get my camera off here. So okay. Here's my case. Here's my matches. And now what I would do is, is just, let me see if I can't hold this in some way, shape, matter, or form, so I can show cutting these. Grab yourself a pair of these, and go to town. Great. All that. A little time consuming but not that tough and fun payoff result. Okay, so what I do with this is dump these down into here and half inch dowel. Cut. I was using this for another project. Give yourself about this much. I don't know, what is that? Three quarters of an inch, half inch. And you can see it fits in there relatively loosely. So you'd want to give it a few wraps of masking tape to uh, secure it a little bit. But don't make it so it would be too tight and it won't come out and it will blow up in your face. Which I explained in one of my videos. Um, anyway, too, I secured this. I just, uh, it's uh, inside uh, Gorilla Glue. It's, that's how it's glued to the base. Anyways, here's something I'm more, more I'm trying to fire this. I haven't done it yet. Um, this is a little bit more, I would think, reliable. I haven't done it yet, so I mean, I have to make a video about it when I actually did it. Uh, this is your, I don't know how what diameter that is. I don't know, maybe half inch. So we're talking, this is a half inch here, and um, this is threaded, and I found a cap at a hardware store, threaded on as tight as I could, two wrenches, tied it on there. Uh, probably wouldn't take a lot to blow that off. Now this little hole here, it's also present in this gun, that's where my cannon fuse would go. Cannon fuse. Outdoor store. You know, you can see it fits in here no problem. You only need, I don't know, that much. No problem there. 
And uh, for this gun, I probably wouldn't use just the match head. I've went ahead and made some match powder. Yes, I've portioned it off, but I haven't done this yet. So I would probably only use half of it to start out with. And then for something like this, you know, just for, because I wouldn't want this blowing up in my hand or anything, I would probably just, uh, I think I mentioned a potato. Uh, I'd take a potato, and I dremeled this so it's relatively sharp right here. So I'd take a potato, stick it over the top, smash the potato into there, ram the potato the rest of the way down in there. But you didn't need to put your fuse and your match powder in there hoist. Now to get the match powder, you can either get a mortar and a pestle and smash up your match head that you cut off your cardboard matches, or get yourself some of these. These are just the wooden matches. Crush the tops off with a pair of pliers or lay them all down and roll something hard over them. That releases the, the match powder pretty well. Um, let's see what else. Uh, put this back. But this is basically the same thing. Uh, you know, it's glued in there with Gorilla Glue, and then this is just there for a little bit of extra, you know, holding power. And these these are just here to hold the fuse in. And you know, this this one I haven't shot, but this one would probably have a lot more. Uh, I would think it would be more safe. I wouldn't think it would blow up and because I mean. After all, we're not dealing with high explosives or anything. We're just talking about matches. So, that's that. I hope I could answer your questions in the video. Sorry, I'm tired. I'm very spaced out, too. But, either way, uh, I hope this helps. And, uh, thank you for your time and dedication. Thank you.